Okay, Neil, what does producing a show for the theatre involve? Just about all that you see on stage before the show and after the show, um, it goes from being um, the first small idea of you think, wouldn't that make a great show, to planning that show, sorting out the cast for it, the costumes for it, the content, the lighting plans for it, the marketing for it, getting the posters right and, 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 and the print right, and then finally coming out on the road and performing the show for hopefully a packed audience. So pretty much everything? Just about everything. And I drive the car here as well. So what do you enjoy most about your job as a producer? The best part of it, obviously, is the two hours we spend each day on stage performing. Um, the response that we get from the audience is just brilliant. And as you may well see this afternoon, um, for us all in the show, sometimes it gets to us like, you know, a, 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 a big guy like me, so many shows you end up with tears in your eyes. The, the response that we get and the warmth that we, we hopefully we give out to an audience but get back from that audience as well is very special and it's that buzz that keeps us going. Okay, so you're currently working on a show called When at Christmas? Remember When at Christmas. Remember When at Christmas. That's right. So tell me a little about the show. Yeah, it's a, it's a show that we do first of all in the afternoons as against lots of shows are on like in the evenings. We do it in the afternoons because it's aimed at basically the retired market. So people from 55, 60 onwards. Lots of whom these days aren't so comfy going out at night to see shows. So we put the show on in the afternoon for them. And it's mainly sort of music and memories from the 1940s, 50s, 60s and a bit of the 1970s. The Christmas um, one that we're doing now obviously has got all the old uh, Christmas songs in it from White Christmas and Jingle Bells and Rudolph the, the Red-Nosed Reindeer and things like that. But it's a very warm show and I try to jog the audience's sort of memories uh, for things they may remember from when they were kids at Christmas. Very nice. It's, it is, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. you'll see this afternoon. And, you know, if you're there in the audience, you need to join in, like, and sing all the songs. So I've got a, a song sheet there for you, so you can... That'll be good. Okay. So it's a nostal nostalgic show. That's it, yeah. A trip back down, back down memory lane. We call them matinee nostalgia shows, yeah. Okay. And Remember When at Christmas mm. is currently touring, yes? Yeah, we started our tour on the 9th of... November down on the south coast in Bognor Regis and we're touring for six and a half weeks. Today, Wednesday, we're here um, in, in Skegness. Yesterday it, it was Bournemouth, uh, so after the show yesterday at six o'clock we packed up and drove from Bournemouth up to Skegness to be here for this morning. Um, the day before that we were in Devon, the day before that we were in Taunton and with all the the floods this week, it's, it's not been easy. Tomorrow we're going back down to London and then Friday we're up to, um, uh, to Lowestoft on Friday and then we have three more weeks of it right up to the 21st of uh, December of the Friday uh, uh, before Christmas. With all this travelling, how do you try to keep morale up amongst the cast and crew? We have much, so much fun doing the show. And you've got to make it fun on the road. There are times when things go wrong, um, costumes go wrong, or technical things uh, 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 cause you some problems. By and large, it's the buzz that I mentioned earlier that we get from the audience, which is just, it keeps us going. And then we travel after the show to the next town, which means, like for instance, uh, last night, we got here about half past nine last night, and we check into the hotel, and 30 seconds later we check into the bar um, and a large, a large glass of wine after a long drive is just the thing for us to unwind and then we're up and fighting fit to I get started in the morning. Okay, thank you for your time. It's a pleasure, thank you and look all the best with what you're doing. <laughs>